Hey guys, Nick Troutman here, and today I'm gonna to walk us through the creek float, what it is and how to use it. So the creek float is actually a giant U-shaped airbag system that feeds around your stern wall, takes up all the space in the stern and the back of the boat, so you've got more flotation if you were to take a swim. And the fact that it feeds around and is locked in by your stern wall, you don't have to worry about the airbag actually dislodging and coming out if you were to take a swim. The other cool thing is that with that U-shape, not only is it just one piece versus two separate airbags, but also it is way more secure within the boat because the actual stern wall itself locks it into place. So how do you install your creek float? It's super easy. You'll notice that one side is a little bit shorter and it comes with a rope attached to a cleat system right here. You're gonna feed that part through the stern first. And you'll notice that if it's a newer boat, you've got an actual hole within the boat that is designed to feed this creek float through. If you've got an older boat or an older design, it's super easy to either just go ahead, take a sharp knife or a hacksaw and cut your own hole within the wall or simply unscrew the stern wall and take the whole wall out, put your little notch in, put the wall back into place. Though being that our stern wall already has the notch, I'm gonna show you simply, you feed one end through the rope part first, feed it all the way back. It might make it easier to actually unclip your back band. Go ahead and pull that out of the way. You might actually have to get on top of their boat if you've got smaller arms like myself. Reach all the way back, and you're gonna look for that rope to feed through your notch and pull through the other side. So once you've fed your creek float through the notch in your stern pillar, pulled it back so that you've got your U-shape behind your wall. You're then going to grab your hose here and you're gonna start blowing it up. You'll also notice that once you've inflated your creek float, that one side is actually a little bit shorter than the other side. This is designed that if you wanna put something like a throw rope or a dry bag or a box or anything in the back of your stern, that you still have space to do so. So there you guys have it. That's how you install the Jackson Kayak Creep Float. It'll keep you afloat if you happen to exit your kayak and go for a swim. I hope this walkthrough was informative for you guys. And if you guys are looking for somewhere to find a Jackson Kayak Creek Float, go check out your local dealer or jacksonkayak.com.